Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Online Smicha. In Hilcha Shabbos, there is a din of uh, one of the uh, one of the malachas is boina, uh, building, and an extension to uh, the Isser of Binyan is asias oyel, making any form of a structure. And there is uh, opening an umbrella, making a mechitza, etc., etc. Et any form of building in Asiya soil all falls under the uh, category of binyan. So there is an interesting question which uh, the Achronim today discuss, which actually has two parts to the question. And that is, if you have a, a picture frame, a picture of a tzaddik or a family member, uh, that's hanging on the wall, and uh, either you want to, either you want to take it down on Shabbos, or you want to put it up on Shabbos, or you want it, or it's, it's it, or you want to f- adjust it because it's not hanging properly, it's crooked. Uh, is it a shaila of boina, and is it a shaila of muktza? Now today we're going to discuss, and now we're going to try to discuss both of them, but primarily boina. Why should it be boina? Because is it called a fixing? So when you look in uh, in Simen Shin Tezvav, uh, where where it primarily discusses all the halachas of asias oil, what consists, what will be uh, part of the the iser of oil. Uh, so over there it says, I'll read from the Big Shulchan Aruch. So the the Simen Shin Tezvav Sif Aleph. Usur lasus oil b'shabes v'yomtiv. You're not allowed to uh, make a uh, uh, oil on Shabbos v'yomtiv. Afilu hu arai, even if it's temporary, because if it's uh, a structure like an oil, something like that, it's it's part of the extension of the malach of binyan. And he and he makes different uh, conditions. What uh, when when it is an oil? What's considered an oil, etc., etc. But then it goes on and says like this. Vedafka, this is only, this is only gag, if it has a cover to it. Avol mechitzis, if you're just making a separation, mutter. If it just walls, it's mutter. So I want to read you what the Ramah says. If you are making uh, a mechitza separation for beauty, separate uh, uh, a partition, partition or anything like that, one of the examples the Ramah brings is v'chein paroiches l'fnei aren hakodesh, or to hang up a paroiches in front of aren hakodesh on Shabbos is not a problem because it's not what we would call an oil. Okay, comes the Magen Avram, and the Magen Avram extends it even further, and the Magen Avram says v'nidali pashut based on this, uh, how we are how we are uh, explaining why that will not be. Oyel, it, it seems to be clear, the mutor litlois b'shabbos, you're allowed to hang up on Shabbos, sadinim ha-mitsuyorin l'noi, any, if you have a nice rug, or you have a nice, uh, uh, a sadin is really a, uh, a cloth, a uh, um, sheet that, that has a nice painting or anything like that, you want to hang it up on Shabbos, you're allowed to do so. Even though it's going to stay there, because because it's not made for a mechitza, you're allowed. Now, the achreinim explain, and they they say like this, that the reason why the Mogan of Avram allows this is because even though it's you're hanging it up, but it's not made to be the, it's not attached in a very firm way. And it's, it's meant, you know, as much as you want. And whenever you want, you could take it off. So it's not a permanent thing. So it's not like a binion, something, a permanent a structure. So there is no isser of a seer's binion. So therefore, if, however, you were to do it in a very permanent way, some have a problem with it. So this is uh, putting up a picture, hanging... Uh, uh, on a nail, obviously to bang the nail is a whole other issue. If there is a hook on the wall or there's a nail on the wall and you want to just put up the, the picture frame on the wall or take off a picture frame, mitzad the Indian of a boina, based on this, there wouldn't be any issue. We come, however, to the second problem. 
How about the issue of, of Muktza? So we find that this is a discussion, and Rav Moshe Feinstein in Chuvas and in, uh, in Igris Moshe, Erechaim Chelik Hay, says that he doesn't consider um, a picture frame to adjust it as Muktza, because since it's not, uh, uh, it wasn't. What is the definition of Muktza? The definition of Muktza means that it was set aside not to be touched on Shabbos. This is what wasn't meant to be touched on Shabbos. A crooked picture before Shabbos wasn't set aside not to be touched. This is, it's not supposed to be that way. So he says that you're allowed to adjust it. Others, for example, the Chazon Ish held, the Chazon Ish held, no, 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 no. This is a, a picture on the wall, is Halik. A picture on the wall, nobody touches. You're not allowed to move it for whatever reason. For no reason you're allowed to move uh, the, the, the picture on the wall. So this is, uh, this is especially connected to a regular Shabbos. Uh, this year, uh, Pesach falls on a Shabbos, where in Shulchan Aruch it says that people are makbed to bring out special kalim and hang up special things, because as a zecher lecheles, a zecher lecheles, perhaps this is, is, is timely, especially this year when Pesach falls on the Shabbos.